This one I'll put down to uh, tips about things. Okay. Uh, thermostat problems. Well, there's one right there. Now thermostats almost never give much trouble. Actually, the the electronics give a lot more trouble than the mechanicals. The mechanicals will last forever. But this is a particular problem, and it really has nothing to do with the thermostat itself. What I'm going to talk about is the hole behind the thermostat. I'll pull, it, pull this thing off, and you can see the hole back there. But there's a hole behind the thermostat for the wires to come through. Now that hole communicates through the wire for the thermostat. There's a hole down in the plate underneath, and it goes over to the furnace. Now this is a basement installed furnace. So sometimes there can be a difference in pressure in the different levels of a house. And certainly if you had one that was a crawl space and it communicates with the uh, unconditioned space underneath the uh, structure, then you could have a problem there. The causes of pressure differences are a number of things. Uh, negative pressure, if you turn on an exhaust fan in the kitchen. Bathroom fans, dryers, furnaces, some furnaces draw air from inside the house. All these things are going to put a negative pressure inside that structure. And there's a number of other things. So what happens is it's pulling pressure out of the house. That means there is going to be air coming in. Now in this case, what this house is, it has a basement. So it could be coming from the basement. Like I said, a crawl space, it could be coming from outside. Anyway, no matter what the situation is, if there's a hole behind the thermostat, and there always is, there's a possibility of air coming through that hole that is not the same temperature as the air in the structure. So let's take, let's take probably one of the worst ones. Air coming from a crawl space. Now, that air is going to hit right at the back side of the thermostat. It's just going to boom right there into the back side of that thermostat. Now, when it does that, it's going to turn on the furnace. So the furnace starts up when it doesn't need to because the thermostat is sensing a temperature that's not actually true in the structure. So as this comes on, it's going to overheat the structure. And it may give the customer a lot of, what the heck, it's working fine for a while. I turn on the kitchen exhaust fan and the stupid thing overheats the house. Okay, that's some of the things that can happen. The dryer's on, it overheats the house. So what you need to do, and it's really simple, is you need to block that. So you can see I pulled that thermostat off the wall and behind it, I've actually put uh, foam tape. Now you can use duct tape, all sorts of things, you know, whatever it takes to close off that hole. But it's, if that's the symptoms you're getting, this is a good idea and pretty much solves the entire problem. Okay, that's it on this one.